one day during, during that summer while I was waiting, I started getting really bad headaches. And it started as a headache, and then it was sensitivity to light, then lightheadedness. Um, and, and over the course of this week, it just got worse and, and worse and worse. Um, and then I remember I was laying in bed one night, and I felt this intense tingling sensation. You know the, the tingling sensation you have when your foot falls asleep? Well, that tingling sensation was going through waves throughout my entire body. And it was, it was, it was weird and intense. And, and I remember pulling myself out of bed and, and walking into my, my parents' room and, and just feeling so sick. And th everything was, was spinning. And, and uh, my, my, I remember my dad waking up and, and immediately asking, what's wrong? And I said, I, I don't feel so well. And, and I remember my dad immediately getting up and coming over, and he picked me up like it was nothing. Now, my dad is not a small man, but he's 5'10". Of course, I was 6'2 and 170 pounds at the time. So it amazed me that he could just pick me up just like that. And, and he took me into the front room, and, and they started taking my vitals. And my dad had spent years as an EMT, so he, he knew how to do all of this stuff. And, my pulse was at like 120. I was running a fever, and, and it was just, it was nasty. And so I remember um, my dad pulling out the oil, and he gave me a blessing. Um, and I, I don't even remember the end of the blessing, because as soon as he laid his hand on my head, I felt this intense calm come over me, and, and I fell asleep. Um, I wish I could say that that was the end of it, uh, but that wasn't the, the miracle uh, of the situation. The next morning, uh, I woke up, and, and they immediately took me into to, to the hospital. And, um, and we sat there in an appointment, and, and the doctor said, yeah, there's, there's definitely something wrong. And he suspected meningitis or, or something like that because my symptoms were, were really bad. But uh, he did test meningitis, strep, um, took blood. They took so much blood and, uh, that I don't even, I, I don't know what kind of test I could have done with all that blood. Um, but ultimately they couldn't figure out what it was. And so they ended up giving me a double shot of penicillin, one in each cheek. Um, uh, of, of my rump and, uh, and sent me home. And I got home and, and got sicker and sicker, or more sick and more sick. And I, I remember eventually got to the point where my throat started shutting off and then the gums around the back of my teeth, that my gums started to swell and they, they had swollen over the top of my teeth. Um, I was just in, in bad shape. I remember one point laying on the couch, my hand was, was laying across my chest, and I l remember looking down and realizing I didn't have enough strength to lift my own hand off of my chest. It was scary. Um, there was definitely a point where I thought that this, this could be the end. Um, but I knew that, I, that, that, that this wasn't, that wasn't the time. I, I, I had a mission call. I was supposed to go on a mission. Um, and so I remember the night that I, I thought it was the worst, I, I, my, my dad came in and, and he gave me a blessing, uh, blessed me with full recovery. And, uh, and he, my mom and him sat with me throughout the night. And in the morning, the fever broke. Um, and I continued to take all of the medications. I was on so many medications and, and drugs, it was, it was ridiculous. But, um, but within the week, I was, I was back to myself. I was healed. And so I, I, I have a complete testimony of, of the power of healing, um, of priesthood power, but not only that, of, of divine callings that the Lord has called me to the Nevada Reno Mission, and so help me, I was going. Um, because that's where I knew the Lord needed me at that time. And so though I, five and a half months seemed forever long, I was in bed for a month and a half of that. Um, 
and it was a testimony building experience. I, I, I learned the Lord had his plan for me and, and he understood what I needed and when I needed to be there. And it was, it was such a blessing in my life to understand the Lord's timing and understand his need and role for me.